day to every one of you tune in from all over the nations it is rhapsody time reality time it is the 27th of october and in today's article our man of god pastor chris expounds on understanding god's timing praise the lord how important that is reading our opening verse from john chapter 7 verse 6 it writes then jesus said unto them my time is not yet come but your time is always ready in the verse above, the Lord Jesus emphasized time consciousness and the significance of divine and prophetic timing. When you look at the prophetic revelation of the things that happened with Jesus from his birth to his ascension, everything unfolded precisely as the prophets had foretold. We live in a time conscious kingdom, even though we belong in a timeless kingdom. Jesus said in John chapter 8, verse 23. I am from above. He was from eternity, but in dealing with things of this world, he was time conscious. We have to know the time in which we're living, where we are in God's calendar, what we should do and what we should expect. The question then is, how do you know God's timing for your life or for the nations? How do you know things that should happen or what we should expect? The answers are in the scriptures, God's word. That is the absolute source of truth. Through the diligent study of the word, you can align yourself with God's timing and live a purposeful, meaningful and fulfilling life. For example, did you know that this is God's set time to favour you and also the nations? The scripture lets us know that we are in his set time of favour. Psalms chapter 102 verse 13 says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favour her. Yea, the set time is come. Hallelujah. Then in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2 in the New King James Version, Paul reiterates God's prophetic word to Israel which is applicable to the nations today. And I read, for he says, In an acceptable time I have heard you, and in the, the day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Glory to God. This is the day of God's favor, and we have to recognize it and act. It is a day of opportunity, the day of salvation. The Apostle Paul called it the acceptable time. In other words, this is the day in which God accepts men, receives men, and helps men. The nations are also right now in the day of God's mercy and favor, meaning that we can take advantage of this opportunity and pray for all men and leaders of nations because if we would pray, God will answer. Hallelujah! Glory to God! Contrary to what many might think, you as a child of God can know what tomorrow holds according to God's word. So take a hold of it and refuse to be a victim. Let us now take this prayer together. Dear Father, thank you for the wisdom and guidance I receive from your word. I have an understanding of the times. I have clarity and understanding of your purpose and timing and I am walking in sync with the Spirit to fulfill my destiny in Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. For more insight on today's teaching, kindly refer to these scriptures given by our man of God to study further in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1, Romans chapter 12 verse 2, and Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 to 17. Hallelujah! Many wonder why we preach the gospel the way we do, and it is because our Lord Jesus is coming back soon, and sooner than you think. God wants you to know that He has reconciled every man back to Himself, not counting their sins against 
them. He loves you, and that is why this message came to you. And if you know someone that has not received Christ, they need to hear this message. Share this audio message, or send them a copy of this article when you download this daily devotional. You're God's man for the hour, and it is such an honor. Hallelujah! In case it's your first time here today, we enjoin you to subscribe to this channel so you can start learning about this new life in Christ and who you really are. Give us a like and. Let others know you thought this was worth hearing, and we will see you again tomorrow. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities Give me your life for meaning Every day My life made perfect With Rhapsody